Hi, welcome to SFG Cards and Craft. Today I'd like to show you how I did this little card. It's uh, part of a stamp set from Cat's Old Craft called The Jungle. Uh, this is one of six stamp sets. I'm actually doing cards for all of these. Some of them might already be out by, by the time this one gets up. Um, and just stamping it here, this is actually the first one of the six stamps that I actually used out of the set. I think this zebra is adorable. Having spots instead of stripes is really cute. Um, I'm assuming it's supposed to be a zebra anyway. The, by the mane it looks like it is. Um, now, I've actually put out the six, seven colours. Sorry, I'm doing it as a rainbow on its uh, little jumper, sweater, whatever you like to call it. The colours that I'm using is candied apple, carved pumpkin, fossilised amber, lucky clover, salty ocean, blueprint sketch and wilted violet. I've recently only discovered since using Blueprint Sketch that it is actually a sort of a very close to indigo colour which is between the blue and the purple. So this is why I'm using that one for part of my rainbow now. So um, I'm actually doing like there's 14 stripes there. One of each pair of stripes is actually shaded but I'm actually doing the two stripes together one shaded and one unshaded of each colour. So you'll see as I, as I move down there, each, each colour I'm actually doing two stripes, but one of them sort of shaded stripe. When I saw this little zebra, I had to laugh. I think it's so cute. A, a zebra with spots. And I thought this is a unique type of idea that Cats or Craft have come up with. I've never seen anything like it before, and I thought it's so cute. So I had to have it. When I saw the stamp set out there, I had to have it. Um, so the sentiment that I've put on this one, which you would have seen at the start when I actually showed the, the completed card at the front, um, is called Birthday Wishes, 100% Chance of Unicorns and Rainbows. Um, now because uh, there's no rainbows on it and there's no unicorns on it, I've actually made the zebra wear like a, a unicorn horn hat, like a party hat type thing. Uh, and then I've put beside it close enough. So it's, um, I mean, really, no one knows what a uni true unicorn is supposed to look like. We're all just assuming that they're like a graceful horse, usually white in colour. Sometimes a Pegasus with the wings with a horn. But really, I mean, because they don't really exist, who's, who can tell if a unicorn is actually not just a spotted zebra with a horn on it? So, anyway, this is what I've done here today. Um, I'm, I'm putting on the, uh, this is the, the last colour of the, the seven of the rainbow colour, but I do go over those again, I think. Some of the colours, anyway, I go back over them a second time just to brighten them up a little bit. Because normally with a rainbow, I do like to have it sort of a fairly muted colour, but because this is actually like a, a sweater for it, I'm wanting it to be fairly bright. And when I come to do the body, I'm using carved pumpkin and squeezed lemonade sort of blended. You'll see what I mean when I'm doing that. I put the carved pumpkin at the top. The squeezed lemonade at the, the bottom half of that area of, of his neck and then I blend the two colours together. Using mainly the squeezed lemonade I'll bring it up to the um, carved pumpkin and sort of blend the two together. I think it looks quite good. I like it myself. It's just a colour combination that I came up with and I thought that would probably be quite cute. I was debating what colour I should put it and I thought well, gee zebras are black and white usually and I thought the black spots are already there but I thought nah this is not really a zebra, this is something I can do different. So I've decided orange and yellow. So this is, this is what I've done. There were two of the colours that were um, in there, although the yellow that I used was actually fossilised amber on the, uh, the the rainbow sweatshirt that I've got there, or the jumper. Uh, the tail, I actually put that in an orange, so I've gone orange, yellow, orange on that one, on the tail end. And when I come, to, oh, I'm just putting a bit more on the ear a bit more orange. This is just the carved pumpkin I'm bringing in there again. Just around. I think I do two coats of both colours. Yes, it looks like I am. When I do the main, oh, the muzzle I do that in, I've got it written down, muzzle picked raspberry is what I do the muzzle. Um, when I do the main, I actually do that in the blueprint sketch uh, as well. Um, I'm pretty sure that was blueprint sketch. I'm just writing it down here, but I'm I'm sure that's what it is. I've got the card in front of me, and that's what it looks like as blueprint sketch. I don't know if I actually show it on screen. 
I really like this blueprint sketch color up until just recently I hadn't actually even used it I've had it for a few months now I've got all the colors and it wasn't until I did a baby card recently that I've actually uh, discovered this color and I, I love it I think it's really a pretty color so I'll, you'll be seeing a lot more of my cards with that on it now uh, there's still a few other colors that I probably haven't really used as well but uh, I will be using them um, and on the leg of course I do the orange and yellow blended on the leg as well just a blend there uh, the muzzle picked raspberry and the mane I was going to do that and picked raspberry but I changed my mind I bring in the blueprint sketch oh, it's doing a bit of uh, must have decided that it needed a bit more brightening up on the colors on the uh, little jumper that he's wearing Um, I've also got a couple of clouds on there, you can see them pierced on there um, they're actually from the Avriel pierced cloud set they're just a, it's a one die that actually just pierces little dotted holes it doesn't go right th all the way through, they're just very very dimply dense sort of thing, they don't quite go all the way through um, so I've put those two on there because I wanted to keep all these cards for all these animals just a single layer card so this is why I've done just the pierced otherwise I would have actually done a cut out and, and stuck it on but then I would have wanted to put it up raised up on a dimensional tape so I thought well this way piercing it on there will actually still be a single layer card and I'm bringing in the blue print sketch now for the main I oh, didn't really know to begin with what color to put on the main but I thought the blue looks quite good it's one of the, the mid colors on the jumper and it looks quite good on there I think so this is why I've put that on there now and there's the Avery L Pierce cloud sets um, I don't actually use that except to make up a um, which I've already got made up stencils so I've, I made these stencils oh gee I've had that die set for probably for over a year now and I would have made these stencils up about then so I've, I've been using these stencils for about a year or more now and I think I use in the sky broken china I believe just to put in some clouds I don't think it's tumble glass it's either tumble glass or broken china one of those two I've got written down broken china but it could have been tumble glass too because when I'm actually doing these cars I don't actually um, write down as I'm going which I, I know I should because my memory is not very good but what I actually do is I, I look at what um, inks I've got out on the table <laughs> and then I have to try and remember which one I've used when so if I've had both tumbled glass and broken china out I may not have known which one I've used so I've just taken I probably thought oh that looks like the lighter one of the two so I've put whichever one but anyway um, it's one of those two I mean you could put anything really as far as colors go into the sky and I'm, I'm just using the the cloud border to try and avoid putting the ink inside that little pierced cloud area um, so I'm just sort of trying to line up the shape of the, the cloud on that cloud border around it to try and stop that getting in there it's easy enough to get it out afterwards though as long as you're fairly quick doing it you can get it out pretty much a hundred percent of it will come out if you use water which you've seen me do that on a lot of my cards in the past I've actually just used water to, to get that color out but I'm trying not to get it in there whenever possible and the, the word because this is not truly a um, a unicorn obviously in inverted commas um, I've actually put on there later on I didn't put it on at the moment but the words close enough because I've actually made this zebra to, with a horn on it with a like a party hat horn and I thought well it's not there's no rainbow and there's no unicorn but there is a zebra dressed as a unicorn it's close enough so this is what I've put there anyway and I thought it was quite cute I don't know if anyone else thinks that but anyway I do and that's the main thing that's what matters and there's that part of the panel I put this here there's the horn I've put on now with that horn I originally put you can see there it's got a goldy color I put on the um, gold wink of Stella but it wasn't very glittery I wasn't happy with it so I afterwards went over with the um, spectrum noir pen the clear glitter when I do the clouds I did the horn as well 
and then later on I put on the glossy accents. I also put glossy accent on the eye after I've done it with the blueprint sketch and the um, the black um, glaze pen, a dot in the middle. So that was all done as well. So this is just bringing in the Spectrum Noir glitter pen now. It's really glittery, really cute. You're looking at the card and it's just sparkle everywhere. It's beautiful. It's got picking up all different coloured lights. I'm, I'm looking at it now while I'm watching the video being um, running through. That's quite pretty. This um, set of stamps that I've got, I'm planning on putting it in as a um, a new series of stamps. Uh, sorry, a new series of cards for me. Uh, pretty much one stamp set, six cards. So whenever I come across a stamp set that I've got, or maybe I've already got, or get in the future, um, and I think I can make six cards out of it, different cards, whether it's one. Uh, image using it six different ways on one card or uh, two or three images using them two or three times whatever or in this case six different animals stamped six different cards so it's just a, a thing that I've come up with that I thought well um, I'll uh, try that and see how it goes and uh, if anyone likes the idea of it and uh, it could be months a couple of few weeks several weeks perhaps a couple of months in between each uh, set of cards that I do but hopefully there will be other cards in between each series of uh, the six cards one stamp set that I'm doing so I'm not quite sure how to word it yet but uh, that was the idea anyway so that's what it'll boil down to is one stamp set six cards uh, and now I'm just bringing in the grass the grass was stamped using uh, a stamp from one of the whimsy stamp sets could have been, uh, there's two stamp sets that I use, depends on which one I pick up first, could have been sketched elephants or it could have been baby animals, both whimsy stamp sets and that's where I get the little grass blades from. Uh, it was stamped in Lawn Fawn Noble Fur and I'm going over it now with the um, mode lawn, <laughs> I just showed it there <laughs> appropriately. Uh, so you're just, just roughly going over it with the mode lawn. I'm not trying to make this smooth in any way. Uh, because I think it gives it a bit more depth if it's not smooth, if it's a bit rough. So, um, but looking at the card now, I probably could have gone a little bit better with it. It is a bit, probably even too rough for my liking. Um, but anyway, the uh, little zebra looks happy sitting on his grass. He looks like he's just looking into the wilderness. No idea what's on his mind or her mind. But I think it looks quite cute. Uh, I know my cards, I apologise again, I know my cards are quite long, but I do try to put as much information in as possible. Um, if I was to cut too much out, you wouldn't have the information that you needed to be able to duplicate the card. If anyone ever wanted to duplicate one of my cards, you're quite welcome to, by the way. Um, but uh, I have no idea if you'd be able to duplicate it properly if I actually cut bits and pieces out. Like if I cut out the painting of the grass, didn't tell you what the grass was made of, as in what stamps was used, what colours, you wouldn't be able to duplicate it. And the sky, you wouldn't be able to duplicate that as well. Uh, you might be able to guess what they are, but uh, really, I mean, uh, it would be hard. So that's why I try and put as much information in as possible. And there's the panel uh, that's still without the uh, close enough in brackets down the bottom. But when you bring, when I bring in the whole final photograph of the card you'll see it's on there then it was just an afterthought that I had after the card was completed and I had my son do the photography and everything for it and then I said later on I said maybe I should put the words close enough on there because it's not really a unicorn and it's there's no rainbow so it's a zebra dressed in a rainbow jumper so anyway if you like this please subscribe and uh, hit the like button and there will be more coming thank you bye bye